Why, hello there, everybody. I have returned. I've also adjusted my mic a bit. Uh, I should be a little less loud in your ears, hopefully, and balanced a little bit better with the game. But yeah, I've returned. Um, update on the cat situation. Uh, still haven't gotten it, because like I said, planning to get it Wednesday. But uh, several of the cats that I was hoping to get, I've got adopted today. So uh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm hoping to get the, the right cat for me. And they am like gone by Wednesday. But we'll see what happens. But you're not here for cat talk. At least not yet. Not until I can provide photographic evidence of how adorable they are. You're here for robots. When last we left our heroes, we finished up fighting a lot of enemies. Uh, we first finished up fighting the uh, through rare plot and fought debonair supposedly a goddess that uh, feeds on anxiety and despair and amplifies it. Thankfully, we were able to defeat her along with some of the mem uh, with the last remaining members of the conflict involving the aura battles. Upon moving forward, we uh, also ran into some people from the Astragius galaxy, namely Wise Man, a manipulative uh, sort of pseudo like hive mind of some of the most powerful people from Kiriko's uh, planet and uh, he killed them before. Turns out they have a lot of satellites. So we had to kill another. Apparently they still exist out there. Kiriko doesn't particularly care. He just said, leave me alone or I'll keep killing. To which they responded because they were dying at the time because he shot them. Anyway, Today, we are going to choose to go on the secret ending route split and take on the hard difficulty path. Let's get started. Rock Halem briefing room. I see that all the infinite mem uh, Haven members are gathered here. This is after Impress Bun's announcement that he's uh, as basically the head of the planet selling us out to the UND. The people who can't leave their stations are listening over comms. Excellent. I fully expect you want to know my reasoning and you have every right to ask. Let me get this straight to the point then. Did you betray us to side with UND? Betray isn't quite the right word. I don't know, this sounds about right. More accurate word would be deceive or perhaps use. You know what? I hate him. <laughs> wow. I forgot just how blatantly is about it. It's all this time when the UND spoke of a collaborator that would conquer the world and provide people with the UND as manpower. It was you, Aim Pressman. That's correct. But I prefer to stay in the position of ru a leader, not ruler. There's a difference. I used your strength in order to unify humanity. Please, don't flatter yourself. We fought all this time because we believed that unifying humanity was the right thing to do. That's got nothing to do with you. Our battles were our own. Excellent. Now that we've both achieved what we set out to do, I don't see any reason to worry about how we got here. What are you going to do now? I'll honor the UND's original plan and furnish them with the number of people they desire for manpower. Naturally, you'll be in the form of a contract with full respect of their human rights. Bullshit! <laughs> Thank you, Tobia. Sure, some people have signed up voluntarily to be UND mercenaries, but still, there's no way you'd find one billion people willing to agree to that. That's why I unified humanity. There's this is now a project that all of humanity will have a part in. Individual liberties will be restricted in order to place the continued survival of Earth and the human race as our highest priority. Oh, goody! You know, none of the efforts at putting a positive spin on this are going to make what you're doing even remotely acceptable. Sending people into battle with no regard to their feelings is just plain wrong! People who do sh that should be called rulers, not leaders. You have me all wrong. I swear on my dead friend Dima's soul, I proceed with this plan in order to protect the human race. Do you think name-dropping the former president will make you look any better? You don't have to believe me if you don't want to, but I assure you that my wish to protect mankind is entirely genuine. I don't think he was lying. I felt that from him when I met him in person, too. That's why we trusted him as much as we did. Surely you've all experienced it for yourself. The harshness of deep space and the astounding power of extraterrestrial civilizations. Is that why you cozied up to the UND? Sacrificing one million lives will guarantee the safety and expansion of all humankind. That's a chance of choice I'm willing to make. Ah, you forgot the letter B. I wonder if that's a typo or he genuinely is just trying to like, understate how much he's doing. 
but it's not a choice we have to make. Why are you uh, just pushing? Uh, why are you just pushing ahead with it on your own? We've overcome tons of struggles to get where we are now. If all of humanity worked together, surely they could handle this one. There are things you can say because you're an individual and powerful. Human progress has unfortunately reached its limits. Man is incapable of existing in Twilight Age without external assistance. Exiting, sorry. That is why I made the decision I did on behalf of the people I represent. To protect the powerless. How could you? The New Earth Federation Organization Committee is on board with my plan already. You want, might want to add a few asterisks to that statement. Since you're so good at laying groundwork, you sure, we made sure to populate the committee with people who would agree with you, didn't you? Or just use old-fashioned threats of violence. I'll let you fill in the blanks there. The point is the plan is proceeding on schedule. I know you aren't happy with this, and I'm sure Daima wouldn't be either. But I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Go to hell. Go to hell, you son of a bitch! You know what? I'll let you have that one. What do you and the UND intend to do with us now? Well, I'm planning on extending another offer to bring you on board with our plan in, the meet in this meeting, but clearly that's off the table. You're damn right it is! We got something for your table right here! I want to imagine Wadi just flipped him off! <laughs> if you want to bring us in line, try us. I'm afraid that's the only option available to us now. You're on, Impressbund. We accept your challenge. My one miscalculation was overly relying on having you around. Now that people's hopes are pinned on you all specifically. If our current state of hostility continues, it could mean a breakdown of my plans. So what you're saying is that whoever wins between you and us gets to decide the future of the Earth. That's the kind of simplicity I appreciate. You might not be evil technically speaking, but you're still an enemy to us. I'll arrange an appropriate venue for us to settle our differences. I suggest you rest up in the meantime. You can't tell us what to do. Just know that I'm truly grateful to you. Thank you for everything. The line's gone dead. This is an unfortunate turn of events. Well, I think it's agreed among the whole Infinite Haven that we're fighting him. It absolutely is. We all follow our conscience. Even if it means making an enemy of the rest of the world. But what do we do? We have more enemies to fight than simply the UND. The Claw and Dr. Hell. The fact that neither of them is tipping their hands makes them both serious threats. And the space and monsters and invaders sure aren't going to be anywhere, uh, aren't going anywhere but close to us. Don't forget that there are still seven primevals left as well. And we still have to deal with all those while also handling UNT. This is where you make your decision about which route you're going to take if you've met the requirements on your first playthrough. If you're doing like a new game plus or something, you don't have to meet the requirements. You get this choice automatically. If you want secret ending, you want to push aggressively, regardless of challenge. Even so, we can't just sit around waiting. If there are groups that want us gone, we should move out aggressively and make a show of our determination. Oh, Raimi. You're really getting into this now. Hell yeah, Raimi. It's what the former president would want for sure. Yes, ma'am. I second Raimi's motion. Yeah, waiting's not our style anyway. No matter how hard it gets, we'll still demonstrate our determination. That's how the Infinite Haven will fight. That settles that, then. We'll make the first move against our enemies, then. I expect the best fight from all of you. In Pressbund, I will never, ever forgive you. I'll show you our determination and our BTX spirit. I don't need to spell it out, right, Raimi? Yes, ma'am. If we have to fight the UND, we'll finish the fight ourselves. In Pressbund, that guy's gonna pay big time. I'll make sure he does personally, and I'll do it for father. Siguri and Raimi are worked up about this to an abnormal degree. They seem pensive ever since President Golden's death. Guess the dam finally burst. I get the president was like a father to Raimi, but I've never seen Sagiri so mad before. It's her pride in her work. Or put another way, what she's put on the line in every battle she's fought. What's the claw up to? Tracked Wendy's brother since he fled the moon, but he doesn't seem to have descended to the Earth at all. Which means they're in space. Now that their phase one has been stymied, I imagine the claw will do something forceful with what little time he has left. If we find him, we'll all duke it out. Right, Van? Yeah, the guy's dead meat when I find him. Hey, Van, got a set? What do you want? Not me, Priscilla. Well, the awkward look on your face. Jeez. Okay, everyone, they're out. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to see. Well, too bad. Go on. Show's over. Good grief, you guys. Van, I want you to know that I... Look, uh, I'm a virgin. What do you mean a virgin? Uh, you know, I mean, like... You saying stuff about me implies some other stuff? You know, stuff? Does that bother you? No, no, it's not what I'm saying. I'm just gonna be real, I mean, I'm not something I, uh... 
No, what all I'm saying is, I'm sorry. I can see I put you on the spot, but I wanted to get it out there. Why don't you know what I want to know what you think of me, Van? Will you give me your answer after the battle's over? Uh, I'll be waiting. Okay, I'll wait for you to accomplish your goal and for the world to be at peace. I'll do my part to make it happen. You better give me an answer when the time comes. Okay? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna catch some Z's. You should rest while you can. Good luck, huh, man? What's a virgin, anyway? <laughs> Woman! <laughs> Hang in there, Priscilla. Everyone's mentally preparing themselves for a major confrontation. Rains with the claw. Your confrontation is just around the corner, Domon. I know, but I'm afraid to go there. Oh, Domon. It's possible I might be forced to end Rain's life to destroy the Dark Gundam. That's why. What will you do, brother? My battle hasn't changed. I'll kill the claw. That's all there is to it. Your battle's gonna be over soon, huh? Are you okay with what I'm doing? Well, I couldn't stop you if I tried, right? I want you to live, and to keep on living. If killing the claw is what you need to be able to move on, then I want that for you. I'll help you do it. After all, that's all I can do. It's all I can do for you, and for Shiro, Shino, the woman you love. I've been meaning to ask you something. Did you love Shino? Uh, of course I did! Who could hate someone as perfect as her? Yes, I loved her. I was jealous of you for having her, and for having her armor. I couldn't be like you. Even when my sister-in-law died, I just didn't have it in me. I was beside myself with grief, but I just couldn't be like you. There's something wrong with me. But I ran away from my grief, and I'm still running. If I didn't, I couldn't bear Shino's loss. There's something wrong with anyone that's me. Brother! I'm going to, it's going to be over soon either way. Once I finish my business with him, I'll make a return to the past. I plan to face Shino once more. Brother! I see you're both on the same page now. Thank you, Yukiko. Everybody here should ma uh, help make it possible. No, what made it possible is all the hard work you put in, Joshua. I have a life of my own. I want Joshua to be able to live his the way he wants. And if Joshua wants to support you, he can't stop him from doing it. I guess not. Guys! What's wrong, old folks? Impressbot is making a worldwide broadcast. He's going to smear us in the eyes of the general public. What? I mean, are we surprised? Attention all viewers, the Earth is presently in the midst of an unprecedented crisis. The Infinite Haven joined forces with Neo Zeon Remnant to occupy the uh, asteroid of Axis, and they are now moving Axis on a course that will drop it on the Earth. MOTHERFUCKER! Char, this is your fault somehow! The Earth Federation forces are mobilizing with Captain Ragnail to stop them. Residents of Earth, please follow the Earth Federation forces instructions and prepare to evacuate the planet. Earth this is an effort being led by the Infinite Haven to drop the asteroid Axis on the Earth. Please prepare to evacuate in the event of the worst case scenario. The fuck, dude? Scenario 51, where dreams and vengeance leap. If you didn't hate him before. <laughs> <coughs> Axis is in sight and on course to reach the Earth. So that's Aim Pressman's tactic. Axis colliding with the Earth would make it uninhabitable. The people living there would lose their homes. Creating a pool of bereft people would be a lot more willing to sign a contract with UND, unless in favor of terms. Not to mention making us out to be bad guys and letting them come out smelling like roses. We've got Haman and Char working with us. Plenty of people would buy the story of work Neo Zeon Remnants at face value. Everything's following his script to the letter. Look, something's coming out of Axis. Axis. Oh, yeah, look, it's the forces to, quote unquote, stop us. You and the mechs. And we get to fight them. With the speech already coloring perceptions, they'll look like heroes of justice driving us away from Axis. We don't have any better options, though. Scramble all units. By the way, if you were using Eldora's soul at all, make sure you deploy the Eldora soul. Because, uh... Cool stuff happens. Uh, we have two more units than we uh, normally set up that we get to use. Cool. Who else is available and is gonna wanna come along? Master Gundam. That's right, I suck mash bar. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, tempting. You know what? Let's bring it. <laughs> See, we're doing an Axis drop event, and they don't even auto-deploy freaking Amaro. Ben and Ray beat us to the punch, huh? Looks like we've got some, uh, they've got some ideas of the, uh, their own about this fight. You feel it too, huh? Both of us are feeling it, and there's no doubt. Yeah, he's gonna show. We sh he shouldn't sit back and watch while the asteroid collides with the planet. He wouldn't just sit back and watch. Don't moan. There's still time before Axis drops. All units, destroy the UND and get close to Axis. Axis, a place filled with bitter memories. A place that I, I refuse to allow Aim Crespon to exploit to further his own ends. The calculations are done. Axis has seven minutes until it passes the cutoff point for, uh, for any alterations to its course. You heard him, everyone. Axis must be stopped in the next seven minutes. He's willing to render the Earth uninhabitable to support you in these plans? Aim Crespon is a dangerous man. Here it goes. We've got to stop Axis and put a stop to their plans. Speed at least 15 enemies within two turns. As you can tell, there's going to be a lot of uh, reinforcements. Everybody go fast. Oh, he already has it active. He must have an ability that does that. Speedy go fast. Noom. Oops, kind of goofed that up. Oh well. Get combination VTX. Nerd. Just, you know, run headlong into the enemy. Put myself in the middle of their attack patterns. Don't care. Just go. Time to punch things. Hey! First kill on the map goes to Eldora's soul! Hell yeah! Way to go, guys! Sorry about having to clear my throat and stuff so much. I wish I had uh, an excuse as to why I need to, but I don't. Beam rifle will be enough. Burn charge on you, because you have a ton of SP, I remember. I gave you that training. In puddles, got a crit. Center Mazen Power. You have no ghost, <clears throat> no ghost fast options, huh? Wow. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just... <laughs> Dobon's pissed. Good crit. Uh, Dora Soul's probably gonna get flanked a bunch. Uh, given it's low range. Okie dokie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shit, 
Zeiten. This was the worst idea. Bye! Okie dokie, objective, tactical report. Nine enemies have been taken care of. Norco crushing three or four enemies, actually, yeah. All right, Ray. Let's get you a kill. Because, goodness gracious, you are completely useless to me right now. Right to the crotch! Five levels ain't bad. Uh, from the from the Gun X Sword anime, yes. This is Ray. He's he also wants to kill the Claw for the same reason uh, Van does. Claw killed his wife. Uh, and he's even more prickly about it. Speaking of Eldora Soul. Yeah, that's why it has the same music. Technically, like down here, official uh, uh, game show it's from is Fist of Punishment Eldora Soul Ultimate Mode. That's the official series it's from. But uh, apparently it either makes it, either these folks show up in Gun X Sword and like Gun X Sword is like a spiritual successor to that or something. I don't know the full deal. But yeah, that's how that's how they're presented in this game. Is they're from the same world as Gun X Sword. Jesus Christ, Amro, calm down. Got our SR point. All units, hurry. Break past the enemy and get on Axis. Oh no, the rest of my kills and experience. I mean, what's going on? A volley of fire from Axis? But that wasn't targeted at us. Those shots were uh, aimed at UND too. It's... The Dark Gundam. Is that what fired those shots? What's it doing here? That's five Dark Gundams! Look at all those Dark Gundams! There's an armor army with them, which means... Has Axis been taken over by the Claw? That's correct. We were making preparations in secret. With this asteroid on course for Earth, we are happy to take full advantage of the situation. But Selena! The asteroid has been occupied by the Comrade and those who share his dream. Mr. Aim Crespin's wish are relevant at this point forward. Stop sitting pretty over there and put the brakes on Axis, damn it! I will do no such thing. 
We plan on having the asteroid maintain its course and hit the Earth. What? We've had to settle for a fallback plan after losing the prison planet destroyer. That fallback is the Axis drop operation. So Aim Press Button's like, I'm gonna drop Axis, but I'm gonna frame the Infinite Haven for it. Then Claw's group is like, dude, we have a base here. I mean, we were planning to crash it on Earth if we had to, but he, I mean, you made our decision for us, so we'll take credit. I hate that everybody's plan is to drop access. The asteroid is infested with DG cells. When the asteroid drops, the Earth will be enveloped in fear, as well as DG cells. Mon Dieu, how could you do such a thing? You would inflict the horror of the DG cells on the world once again. Just so, the people will be beset with horror, and thus they will desperately yearn for peace. The DG cells will also be the delivery mechanism for the catalyst extracted from the Orphy flowers. Yay, the more Deus Ex Machina are, I guess in this case, more of a MacGuffin. MacGuffin. Once the comrade's will is made sufficiently widespread via the catalyst, the time of happiness will come to fruition. Is that why you got your hands on the Dark Gundam? Precisely. What about Rain? Where is she? She's with an axis, serving as a mother to Dark Gundams. Wow, that was easy. Don't just assume it's the truth. She could be lying. Lying? I have no reason to do that. Domon, if you truly love Rain, you should be able to work a mer uh, be able to work a miracle that would reverse even this desperate situation. If you have the power to do that, I'd very much like to see it. There's nothing more to it than that. Actually, this sounds more like she wants Domon to not kill Rain, because killing Rain would stop their plans. And she's like, oh no, Domon, we have her captured. But you're so brilliant and amazing and you've done this before. You'll probably save her without having to kill her. Dick. Of course, as long as Michael and I stand, you'll be going no further. Damn you. All this despair will be gone soon enough. By sharing in the comrade's dream, the world will be snuffed, suffused with happiness. To hell with your idea of dreams and happiness. That's not something others push on you. You can call it what you want, but you aren't getting past us. We will stop you all here for the sake of the comrade's dream. Is this a, it, if this is really is their final operation, then Claw's gonna be watching the fight from somewhere nearby. And it's our job to dispatch his aides and draw him out. It's finally time for a showdown with the Claw. Get pumped, everybody. I'll do what I can to help too. Please make sure you come back alive. Yukiko. You go, Yukiko. Have some help from me too, I insist. Wendy and Carmen. Uh, swap Wendy and Carmen with Yukiko as your supporter. Okay, let's rock. We can start with these two idiots. You just call us idiots? You're the last guy who gets to call me that. Oh yeah? You guys are about to be finished. You're next, Claw. Vitalia of Wednesday and Tsudade of Sunday. Uh, supporter. Boom! You can give Persist, a cell and Fortune to a single unit. Not the greatest. Okay, you know what? Get in a boat. Get in a boat. All of you, in the boat. There. Nope. Wow, <laughs> you're gonna wreck somebody. Carbon data. Sword. Two experience points. <laughs> and don't attack. You're fine. Shin Shun Spock. So apparently, uh, 
the Japanese team for this uh, did like a 30 minute uh, playthrough of one of the later missions in SRW 30. So there's been a bunch of footage of that going around. I've only watched like two or three minutes of it, but I'm leaving the rest because I don't want to be spoiled on certain units and whatnot. Like, it's a Japanese. I'm obviously not going to get to understand shit, but I still like I want to be surprised by the gameplay and stuff on its own a, a bit more so. So I didn't watch it. But if you're a huge SRW fan, that footage is out there. Don't look at me. I swear to link it, though. I kind of lost the link. Don't be the wave rider. If you get attacked, it'll hurt a lot. Wasn't that one of those pathetic attempts at a mascot platformer that some company did? So it was actually a decent one. Hmm. There was like a million of those back then. So don't be terribly surprised. My memory meshes some bad ones with some good ones. Oh, hey. Idiot brother is just going straight for Van. This is a mistake. Step aside, brother idiot. If anyone will step aside here, it's you. No one could oppose the comrade's plans. Get it through your head already. I'm gonna kill him. The comrade will die soon anyway. It defeats the whole purpose if I don't kill him myself. You're gonna stand between me and him. I hope you're ready to die. Of course I am. I'm always prepared to lay down my life for the comrade's sake. God, you're an idiot. Go kowtow to Wendy and beg her forgiveness. <laughs> Yeah, I know there's a lot of people that think tank controls are shit, but when a game is actually built with them in mind, nah, they, they work fine. And there's some games where you have to fight the tank controls, like one of my favorite uh, series, Animusha. Okay. I have the Onimusha trilogy behind me. It just, uh, the Vector's Fire? Mm, okay. I forgot I put that there. I just don't have a system to play it on that's set up right now. All these Dark Gundams have 34k health. Good boy. Yeah, 
He has tried to eat my boat. Too bad. Mazinger. Go make problems for them. Other Mazinger. Go create problems for them. This is so bad. They're not as tough as the one we fought on Mars. There's just a lot more of them. And the ones here don't represent all the Dark Gundams. Domo, there's no point thinking about details right now. I'm just gonna fight and stop Axis. <laughs> yeah, currently the only video game systems I have plugged in are my PS4, which I would hope is exceptionally obvious, and uh, my Switch. I have a collection going all the way back to NES, but no reason to bust any of them out. Harlock! Harlock deals some serious fucking damage! I don't know what that uh, achievement was for off the top of my head. I'll have to check later. Actually... Resist is still active from the bravery use earlier. Good. Is that enough? What if I do this? No. Damn it. Cool. This will get him a lot of experience. Yep, eight levels and he got love. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? I kind of overkilled that. I forgot how much weaker that Dark Gundam was. Yeah, yeah, definitely reminds me of the X3. aim for everything and then everything dies who needs experience Bruy needs experience okay you don't, you don't need to kill it that much
Only three units left. says that. Don't you move, Sadate? Did you tell, brother idiot? It's cause you lost. I never said you could call me brother. Okay, fine. I'll just call you idiot, idiot. You're the idiot! Why do you insist on killing the comrade when he's on the verge of dying anyway? Cause I wouldn't feel right otherwise. You ungrateful fool. You're completely squandering the goodwill Godvet showed you. Why do I care? You're completely blowing off Wendy's feelings. I've done what I had to. Yeah, and so have I. Hell, so is everybody here! Wendy too! I know at the end of the day you lost. That's all there is to it. Now get out of here! Ah! Justice is triumph, but it's a bittersweet victory. Wendy, I'll be okay, you go. After all, I don't think he's dead. Michael. Oh shit! It's okay. I'll protect the comrade's dream that you and I share. Are you Wendy's brother's girlfriend? Would that I were. How much nicer it might have been. I'm a vile temptress who used my body to shelter his mind. I don't deserve to have this love. But that's... I mean... That's why I... I really do envy Rain. Asalina. This is the only life I'm capable of living. This is the kind of woman I am. I shall see it through to the end. So yeah, she basically just admitted... Yeah, they banged! But it wasn't, like, an emotional connection, or at least not for her it was. But yeah, look at all those wonderful little buffs she has now! We have to burn through them somehow. So I'm gonna send somebody who I don't care if I burn their turn. Nobody's gonna hit anybody! <laughs> there, burned away some of her stuff. I told you, I think Saizo's a prick and a tool, and I don't like him. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to treat him like shit. Alright, we're gonna watch this full animation because, uh, it's gonna be the last time to see yeah, her can... pull a weird can... thing on us, or with her striptease dance robot. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Mido's probably 16, knowing anime. I was off by one. 
Can you check if Eldora Soul officially is in the actual Gunnex Sword anime? Because I'm not 100% convinced that's this, uh, that isn't just something the Super Robot Wars folks added. It is. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Step aside. It's the claw I'm after, not you. That would be out of the question. It is our job to eliminate those who stand the comrade's way. No mercy it is then. We'll do this the hard way. Women don't like impatient men, you know. Don't start spouting nonsense now, lady. Dude, okay, I'm sorry. But if you're gonna be like... Never. I was gonna make a comment somewhere along the lines of, why are you criticizing the way he acts when he got married? But I know a lot of people who got married and shouldn't have. So I suppose that's a poor argument. For me. Makes sense. Holy shit. Can you calm down for two seconds, man? Might and Guy have to say, <laughs> No, Dahlia, why? The battle's over. The gone. I don't understand you, Raid Lundgren. How can your armor fight ours on equal terms, even ours are, when ours are the original seven, and yours is nothing of the sort? Oh, you didn't know? Have you ever stopped to consider where the technology from the optical weapons you guys use comes from? It all comes from this. The Vulcan. So I swear by Shido's soul that I will not lose this battle. Yes, that's one original seven down! Brother, there's just one less obstacle in my way. Let's go. I think I saw Faselina run off before the, just before the explosion. It'll be my job to finish things with her for real. That takes care of the main threats. What about the claw? No signs of him so far, sir. Then we need to hurry. Stop access. All units, hurry! Wendy, Carmen, where are you going? I've got some business of my own to finish up with someone before we wrap things up with Claw. It's just a nickname, dude. <laughs> Same here. Please take me along for the ride, Carmen. Sure thing, Wendy. We're in it together. Claw, you can hear this. Come on out. I'm here to kill you. If you don't come out, I'll break this whole oversized rock cluster apart. It's no use. There is no impeding the comrade's plan. I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you, uh, under, uh, under us being the Infinite Haven. It's never ended well for anyone. No, Carmen specifically says it's just a nickname. She has her real name, and she gets mad at us for using it. <laughs> so, this is her information dealer name. Ah, you're the one I met in Trinolia. That's right. I'm glad you remember. How could I forget? The Orphy flowers cultivated there played a vital role in furthering the comrade's plans. A component of the flower becomes a catalyst for a particle store uh, element induction, enabling us to implant the commander's will all over the world. As far as I'm concerned, it's a dirty, rotten flower that filed my hometown. Was that town ever so pure to start with? And my understanding was that you forsook your hometown years ago. I have no hometown. I've been alone since the day I was born. It was simply a fact of life for me, so I have no sense of loneliness. I can't understand your feelings for your hometown either. If anything, I feel that I have every right to hate you. Then we're in agreement. How about we get this started? So be it. You still have your fight. Yeah, Carmen fights with the, like a special yo-yo. Brother. Wendy, you're here too. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm a friend of Vans and a member of Infinite Haven just like everyone else. I have to reach the comrade. Why do you stand in the way of that? Because you're wrong! I am no such thing. The world the comrade dreams of is a world where everyone has the happiness they want. 
and you get the here. You, he murdered Van's bride. He murdered Ray's bride. He robbed Rain of her mind. Nobody wanted any of that. But soon the world will be filled with happiness. A world with nothing but happiness is just as it right. That sort of happiness may as well be nothing at all. Because it's forced on you by someone else. It's wrong. Wendy, that's not happiness. That's just mental abuse. Shut up. Let me buy, Wendy. Everybody loves this world. Sure, it's got a fair share of hardships, but that's why we love it. Speak for yourself. What do you know about the world? I've seen it with my own eyes, walked it with my own feet. What do you know about anything other than that man? There's nothing else worth knowing. Why is he the only one you look at? Oh, I get it. He distracts people with all his talk of dreams of the world, and he never bothers to see people who it really are. All this man does is push his own whims on other people. And you want to have blind faith in that charlatan. To impugn the comrade is to impugn me. And that, that I will not allow. Brother! I'm getting boson readings. Someone's boson jumping in? What in the world? Is that a giant armor? Is that the Claw's trump card? That it is. It's called the birthday. Today is the day the Earth will, the world will be reborn. What more fitting armor for such an occasion? Claw, there's the bastard now. Since you were all so very insistent, I bumped up my schedule to come out a bit earlier than I would have otherwise. The plan was really for the birthday to wait until the hit after the asteroid hits the Earth to make its grand appearance. I don't care about your damn schedule. You stay right there while I come to kill you. Hold on, something's coming. Kikaiju. Looks like Dr. Hell isn't too happy with the claw either. I'm certain he isn't. He and I are doomed to always be at loggerheads. Claw? Life is death. Death is infinite. Such is the chain of life that binds us. Come, people of the endless illusion. Let us celebrate and behold, for today is the end of the world. Present your many years of sins to the skies above. All will revert to the pure hearts of times of yore. You're going to die right here. I'm afraid not. My dream will take root and spread its seeds for many long years to come. Okay, Wendy, you protected me, just like the old days. That's right. My whole battle began with protecting you, Wendy. And here I was trying to do something to make you sad. Brother. Wendy, live your right. Huh? I believe that the path I chose for myself is also right. So I want to follow my path no matter how the plan ends up. You should walk your own. Brother. Goodbye. Impressive. Everything is blowing up around us, yet you still make no effort to run. I've got my pride. What do you want with me, exactly? What would make you satisfied? In fact, why do you hate me so much? Surely you haven't forgotten Hayatea. And besides, you're just precious. I'm sorry, what? You throw yourself into what you like without any care for what anyone thinks. You're with the man you love. You're twisted, but true to yourself. You said you envied Rain, but me? I think you're downright adorable. Yeah, there, I said it. I'm not sure what to say. Don't let it go to your head. Not everyone can live a life as sweet and precious as yours. I think that's quite enough out of you. You're speaking out of pure envy. Not that I'm better, mind you. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to live as true to myself as you did. Then why not do it? There's no point if I die. You are a very selfish woman. Like you've got room to talk. Get away from Basilina! Huh? She's important to me, okay? Michael! See it clearly now, Pasolina. Even if the comrade's plans had been, fa been failure, as long as I have you there with me. Oh, Michael, I know just what you mean. As long as we can be together. Wow, uh, I guess I'm a third wheel here, huh? Oh, for God's sake, forget it, I don't care anymore! <laughs> it's such an anti-climax. He called in reinforcements? Claw. I'm all out of time to spend chatting with you. 
Do you know what happens to people when your, their dream is taken away from them? Mm -hmm. They become tormented, mind and body alike, by pain, anger, and sorrow that they can never tune out, never be rid of. Can you imagine how painful that must be? Now choose! Will you keep your life, or preserve your dream? I choose both. Damn you! I suppose this is goodbye for now. I'll see you in the new world. Brother, run! You're in the way. Get out of here! Why'd you come to rescue? It wasn't for you. That's for damn sure. It was for Joshua. For Josh? If you bit the big one, he'd be wailing all over the damn ship. My brother deserves more credit than that. He's capable of walking in his own path even after I'm gone. Oh yeah? Want to try me then? After I kill him? Sure. Right, yeah? I'm gonna kill him. Two hunters, one quarry. But the one to kill the claw will be me. Uh, excuse me, I just finished saying it was gonna be me. No, me. What's wrong with you people? The claw's right there in front of you! There's no time for arguing! You're not wrong. Fine, we'll race for it. Don't you dare whine about it either. You always piss me off, but your armor's pretty decent. And you've always been a lucky bastard with both armor and women. Let's go. Right. How wonderful. Two men at complete odds with one another joining hands to share a common goal. The two are most fitting men to stand at the side of the new world's birth. My birthday shall... Shut up. You're gonna die right here. I'll see to that personal. Goals to defeat birthday. Birthday, by the way. Cannot move up but one space a turn, if that. Um, yeah, it's double action. Strong luck and full counter, so it's always gonna hit you first. All ally stats are increased by 20 because of his ace bonus. If this morale gets 130. Don't let that happen, unless you kill all the allies first. And regen and chain of command. Yes, the 3G would be pissed, Danny. He has GER fluid. Hey, look at that. It's a fucking wild map attack. And hand press. You'll see what that looks like in a bit. But he also only has one to nine range, so you can outrange him pretty easily. Well, not easily, easily, but it's within the acceptable range of possibilities. Wanna watch this anime? Danny, it removes all your stress and then makes you a completely different being from what you actually are. One that's not in control of its own actions. Well done, Haman. One shot a fucking Master Gundam. Grandmaster Gundam, sorry. And then all the stress comes back because you never dealt with the actual source of it. You just made it disappear temporarily. God, Norik was amazing. Good grace set of lungs on her, too. Okay, but do they show what happens to them, like, two days after? They show the therapy they probably needed to go through for the fact that their body completely changed form and, and back again. Fucking anime. My psychology degree screams in pain. Oh, 
One more left. I say it again. My psychology degree. It screams in pain. That's four Grandmaster Gundams taken out. Same turn. Everything else is about a birthday. People who favor the color black tend to be rather brooding in nature. Shut up. That's not a healthy attitude. Why can't- why don't we have a nice dialogue together? You don't get to ask for that when you kill people with zero hesitation. But I won't kill you. After all, I'm wi I wouldn't dream of taking that from Van. Like, yeah, Jesus Christ, this guy sounds like the idiots on the internet that are alt-right and are like, DEBATE ME! It's like, no, fuck you. <laughs> I don't gotta do shit. <laughs> I would be delighted to be friends with a sweet young lady like yourself. Well, I don't want to be your friend. You don't understand what a human heart is. This is a world where everyone I care about lives, and you can't have it. Then why don't we unify together to understand one another better? That, I'm my own person. I won't let anyone else take my dreams, my love, and my wishes away from me. So I'll fight you, wreck the world, and everyone in it. You've been through a sad experience that's haunted you for years, haven't you? You poor man. Yeah, that was like the plot of Zeta. <laughs> you talk like you understand people. Some people might cling to that kind of lip service, but I don't like it one bit. The Hive haven't been on Earth in centuries. That wizard came from the moon. Oh, so haven't you followed me before? Oh, well, whatever. Thanks for the follow, dude. And you don't know the first thing about me. Oh, and what do you mean by that? The Hive haven't been on Earth in centuries. That wizard came from the moon. Uh, yeah, mind sport. That's a good way to think of it. Especially since Project... Never mind. But yeah, uh, essentially that's a good way to look at it. It's got a lot of, uh, back anime. I, ho I found hope at the end of my suffering. That's why I can fight. I'll put a stop to your plan so I can protect that hope. Right, Danny. Yeah. 
このタイミングならばはい、I want to get someone in there who actually is gonna take the hit because you need to see the full animation for that fucking attack It's wild Ah, you're a brave hero By all means, share your bravery with me Is he not taking this seriously? Oh, I certainly am I always give things my fullest effort It would be dangerous to let this man's peculiar air get the better of me If there's ever a time to act on my own intentions for the sake of what I believe in, this is it. That's what bravery is. Yes, that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah. This motherfucker right here is like... I joke that, that marketing is applied psychology, but evil. And that's what this guy is. <laughs> Yeah, that's the full animation for his attack. He kind of gives you a gross hug, and then lightning strikes you. Gaslighting motherfucker. Yep, he's gonna mass deck. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> Oh, thank God, that's a lot of people dodging. Shit! <laughs> Chino might not get to do anything. You know, I was kind of expecting more of a, I don't know, comic book villain or something. The way Van talked about this guy. Having him be a pleasant old man kind of takes the wind out of your sails, doesn't it? Does, don't take this guy lightly. He's fully capable of murder with a smile on his face. These things just happen sometimes. So I hope you'll be careful not to let me attack too much. Not a speck of remorse for any of the things he's done. This type's more of a pain in the ass than running the mill villains. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! Claw, I've got a bullet with your name on it. So impatient. I'll kill you. I'll kill you! I can't let you do that now. But once I spend my life, something far more lovely will happen. Shut up! Your dogged persistence for your dream. You are truly wonderful. I'd like to present you with a gift. I will return your fiancé back to life. I... what? The systems integrated in my birthday are an improved version of something from prehistoric solar system of civilization rules. It was originally crafted to battle against the Mycenaeans. So what? I will use the, uh, it to condense the local chronology order and rewrite history. In short, the dead can come back to life. Elena could. Of course, it wouldn't just be your fiancé, then. I'm sure everyone here has, some th has things that they wish they could do over. Separations, personal failures, setbacks. You can redo it all. I don't mind. Father could come back? Or Lieutenant Emma and the others? The others, by which I mean... Fa is still alive, even though she shouldn't be. Lena, your sadness could be erased, and I could get my sense of taste back. Sashi and Michiru could come back to us. I would pass away. Your regrets would be gone, and the world would be at peace. It would be a world so wonderfully agreeable to all of you and to the planet itself. The ancient solar system civilization, the Mycenaeans, seemingly fought over who could utilize such a wonderful system. Bam. I want to see I want to be your friend at the very end. I want us for us to be friends. Shut the hell up! Pardon? Eleanor's dead. 
You killed her. And now you would even take her death away from me? The dead never come back. Uh, yeah, sure, let's go with that. <clears throat> I'm sorry, would the rest of you mind quieting down a bit? I wouldn't want for all of you to miss out on a perfectly fine opportunity just because of that. Uh, hello? What a fool you are, Claw. It is because life is finite. finite. Because everyone can only have one. Life is such a thing. Of if you can't appreciate its value, your words are hardly worth anyone's attention. Ah, I see now. That was why I could never become your friend. Because we had a fundamental difference in opinion. But I'm afraid I haven't much time remaining. I'm going to go through with the plan now. You'll be a tad bit more forceful with your few flowers gone, but it's not outside the realm of possibility. My apologies to all of those whose brains fail to withstand it in the dark. What in the? Is history getting really getting rewritten? Claw? Truly, you are such. I see now. I see what you are. You are an idiot. <laughs> I see, I see. So this is what an idiot is. Ah, idiot, idiot, idiot. What a darling little idiot. Pure impulse with no regard for one's chance of success. And without that, the people would never be able to dream. Van! Van! Van, I'm so glad that I could meet you at the very end. I had no idea that an idiot could be such a fascinating thing. Soon you and I will be one in the same. Then we can have many nice chats together in your mind. Now to make the world... Wake up, Van! The object to your vengeance is right there! Fight, Van! Isn't this what you live for? Ray's had his turn, now it's yours! Wipe that smile off that bastard's face! You don't have to tell me twice. There it is! The overflow! Is it just me or is it different somehow? Hmm. It appears his anchor is letting him generate even more electricity than usual. It's empowering his armor in a completely unprecedented way. Whoa! Carlos! You're actually awake? This is the biggest showdown we've got. You think I'd sleep through it? Great! Now our old daughter's soul can go full power! If you dispatch Eldora's soul, this happens. Carlos is now awakened. Fan! Yeah! The dimensional boundary distortion is abated! Hooray! Stop this right now, Ban. Otherwise all my plans will be ruined. Why would you do such a thing? I don't understand. That's an easy one. You want to know why? It's because... You pissed off the wrong guy! Great! That takes care of his plan! How's it feel, Claw? You have nothing left now. Attention! Everyone on this island who shares my dream. The plan has suffered a setback due to Van's misbehavior. This is most regrettable, but sadly true. As such, I will be taking my plan back to square one. What? God, he just doesn't let go! I'm so happy to be able to walk alongside everyone once more. No matter what happens, I will not die before my dream comes true. I will live on even if it means implanting GG cells in my body. Then I will dream with everyone. Just shut up! Yes, it's all thanks to you, Van. I think I would like to welcome him on board. It is he. He should be the very first friend I make in my new project. He is the element that's so conspicuous and absent from my previous plans. The idiot factor. What's with this guy? You'll never see eye to eye with him. It's time to finish this for good. Oh, Van. Thank you. Thank you. Your next plan's never gonna happen, because you're gonna die right here or now. Okie dokie, before we do anything else, Eldora's soul, Carlos, now has foresee, daunt, and disrupt. Yeah, it's real good. And he has a higher SP total. Uh, he has 152 than he did before. He's fucking wild.
but <laughs> I have the ability to. Why not? Uh, speaking of, before I do that anymore, I have other people with Dawn. Twelve morale. Neom. Isn't today a fine day for us all to be friends? Who in their right mind would be your friend? I'm not so hard up for company that I'd entertain friendship with a villain. Get ready, Claw. Your mad schemes are finished. It's too late to apologize. The power of justice will strike you down. Gracious, you're such a lively bunch. Gonna go lively right upside your head. Oh, he always gets in on it, Danny. They didn't change the animation for this at all. <laughs> he always said this. <laughs> the only difference is the SR po is the uh, SP point. <laughs> right. Claw, it's time to end all of this. You're quite the tenacious one, aren't you? If it's my life you want, why not? Can't you simply give it a chance? I've waited a long time for this day, and I'm not going to wait a second longer. This is for Shino. I will have my revenge. Now, now, that's enough. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. I have to hand it to you as Mr. Asia's pupil. Your moves in a fighter is most impressive. Your words have no heart or soul behind them. Compliments from men like you are completely meaningless. Is that right? I thought I was speaking my mind. It's because your nature is so far removed from the human heart. Oh, Claw, a man with no passion for life could never hope to understand its meaning. The world knowledge creature should never be entrusted in such a man. I want to see this. Goodness gracious, Mr. Asia. Is this what's become of you? I am one who believes in taking people's true measure of fighting. I was never going to get along with someone seeking to rob the world of combat. Don't you think it's time to move on from that outdated way of thinking? The world will change, but some things must never be changed. If you refuse to see that, then I'll see you dead. Yeah, all the uh, G Gundam fighters have that, uh, have the the shoulder pads. They're part of the way they control the actual, uh, the the way they control the the Gundams. Okay. Uh, ooh, there we go.
I needed less SP than I thought. This is for Elena! Hold on a moment, then. Please, hear me out. Like hell I will. I've been waiting long enough. Fla, I'll kill you. I'm afraid not. I cannot be allowed to die just yet. Too bad. You're gonna die now! You simply aren't normal, have you? You're unlike anyone I've ever met. <laughs> I see. This must be what they call an idiot. Shut up and die! That's a good line, Danny. Uh, this one's all you. You sure? This makes us even for what you did before. You know? I feels wrong about you. Hurry up, I'm not gonna wait all day. Never mind, I take it back. Ben, I love you so. Yeah, where'd you get the line from, Danny? Man. It leaves a sour taste in my mouth, but at least it's over now. Yeah. The claw subordinates are requesting a surrender. Now we have to stop. Now we just have to stop access, and this battle will be over. Ah, okay. Well, then I actually am genuinely impressed. Axis is accelerating. What's going on? I thought the Clawsmen all surrendered. It's the Dark Gundam. Domoon? The Dark Gundam is in control of Axis. It wouldn't be the first time it's taken over a colony. Damn it. Fine, we'll have to break it apart before it can fall to Earth. You can't! Right now, Axis is like one big mass of DG cells. Even if we break it apart, the DG cells in each segment will still descend upon Earth. Then what can we do? Start by slowing Axis' rate of descent, then we'll figure something out. All units, head to Axis. Destroy the Dark Gundam's present in there and stop its descent. Rain, I will start with Dark Gundam, even if it costs you your life. According to the reports, Axis has begun its descent to Earth. Holy shit, Pressbund! <laughs> I forgot his evil overlord outfit! It's not my first choice of our method, but now the Earth will become uninhabited, and people won't have any choice but to move to space. And all the people who pin their hopes on the infinite haven will be stricken with despair. You know, I have to say, this looks is far more flattering on you than any suit. I'll take this as a compliment right now. That's, uh, there's always a place for strong humans in the universe. Hey, I'd like to put you in command of one billion Earthlings. Certainly. Just remember the Earthlings won't be mere tools of you and me. I've signed a contract establishing as veritable equals of you and me. I expect you to guarantee their freedom. Absolutely. That was the plan. Equals with the UND. Aim press bun. This man does not give a shit about the UND. <laughs> we have seen many times him saying, I don't care about failures. They basically do not exist in my mind. Do not even mention their name in my presence. Not a man you need you want guarantees of good behavior from. Because he won't it won't matter. And you will open the doors to a new era. A new era. The universe is constantly changing. I want to feel that for myself. A man like me who rules with fear and violence, using rewards to raise morale. Someday my troops will not follow me. That's why I want to create a new end. You and you and the Earthling leave the charge. I'm already getting glimpses of what a great you and you will be. Let's hear it. That's the source of Earthling strength. I realized that after meeting you. And what is that? A strong that gives rise to power. 
If each individual is a strong will, the you and you will be able to stand supreme in this universe. The Earthlings will also whack, walk this path of supremacy. A, am I expected to go beyond the terms of your contract and treat me as a friend? It would be an honor, Ragnail. My old friend certainly would never have condoned what I'm doing now, though. It was the only way, Daima. I'll take responsibility for my actions, just as you give your life for our future. Yeah, he's a bit much, isn't he? Alright, score. I just make you and I an ace. A VTX authorized pilot rank, huh? Can't complain. They've got this uh, set up for us to do ace pilot interviews, but can I ask you about quests? What does she have to do with me becoming an ace? Well, I just thought I'd ask you about what really motivates you, so I have nothing to say on that matter right now. But know this, I'm going to push myself to become a man worthy of quests come hell over high water. Oh, so she is what drives you. Hang in there, Gi and I. Quest feelings aside, I'm rooting for you. Ew, she's a child, dude. Meryl, what's our status? Doing a rush job on the analysis, but I don't have enough data to go on. The Earth is in serious trouble. I come to say hi to the ladies now that I'm awake, but it seems that I came at a bad time. Oh well, with me helping out, Lodora Soul's more of a force to be reckoned with now than ever. Our combat data should be worth about 100 points, maybe. Hang in there, youngins. Protect the world you live in with your own two hands. Us elders will do our part too, of course. We plan on living a long time yet. Ah, holy shit! I can just buy GER fluid, but I'd rather get a Haro! Haro, Haro, Haro. Haro, Haro, Haro. Everybody needs a little Haro in the uh, cockpit. Haro, Haro, Haro. Haro, Haro. Mazingers. They're the source of my problems. They're the ones that have like zero movement. Beware, everyone. He has found grapes. Saving! 